Hello and welcome to Bunkum. My name's Anthony and today we've got another Scary Games compilation. The first game we're going to play is Room 303. In the darkest recesses of every mind, something remains dormant, waiting for a moment to take control. It holds no obligation to be understood and it asks no permission. And the second game we've got is Are You With Us? In this game, you've discovered a video which guides you through performing a seance. What spooky things will happen? Who will we communicate with? And the last game we've got is Dying of Thirst. After waking up, you realise you already drank all your water before falling asleep. The only thing left to do is brave the trek to the kitchen to fill a cup again. One drop at a time. Hmm, let's take a look. So I think this game is actually quite an old one. I'm not sure exactly when it was released. Um, oh, hang on, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh play, there we go. Uh, yeah, it was, I think it's quite an old game. Um, but as always with my usual kind of investigation of all things scary on Itch.io, this one kind of caught my attention. So I thought I'd give this one a try. But I'm not exactly sure. Oh, oh God, no, 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 please, no. Fix this. Search the room and set it to, uh, and set it right. So, is that some, what? Uh, so what do we do? Do we just... Are we going to try and put everything back in place? How do I do it? Uh, what are the keys? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, think, think. Stop blinking. Stop blinking. Stop blinking? Uh, why does he need to stop blinking? Uh, and that bit? No? Oh, hang on. It changed a little bit there, did it? Or is that my imagination? Right, so it won't let me do anything more with that by the looks of things. Oh, the TV's on the floor. Can I put that back? Oh, now I can tread on it there and break it some more. So have we killed somebody in this game? Have we... What? Oh, my cursor's changed again. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing in this. Hang on. Uh, it, uh, uh, oh, it's changed. Uh, now do I put that back on? Oh, there we go. What do I do? What do I do next? Thanks. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I don't think there's going to be too much we can do in terms of fixing stuff around here. Oh, I've set the coffee cup right, though. Uh, guitar. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So do I have to do things in a specific order to be able to set things right? So it's not letting me do anything with the TV. Oh, do, is it, oh, do I use the cleaning stuff? Do I, do I need to start doing polishing and cleaning and... Um... What? How? What? I'm a little confused about how many things I can actually fix in here. Do, is it the couch? How do I fix? Because the cursor doesn't change unless I've got to get it in a very specific place to be able to do it. Let me do it. Do I have to do it from a particular angle? Uh, do I do something with the body? Do I hide the body? Do I put it somewhere? Do I do something with the window? Uh, so what happened? Is he coming through the window? Um. Oh. At the moment, that seems to be the only thing I seem to be able to interact with. Is there... 
Is there somewhere else I can go? Can't go in the bathroom area. Anything down here? I'm just casually swiping. Oh, there's a picture there. Hang on. Have I got to correct that, that picture? Oh, went too far. There we go. Nailed it. I'm guessing I've got to do things in a particular order then, have I? Can I go now? I'm going to do something with the front door. No. Ah! Come on. This is getting annoying. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, it needs power. Uh. Oh, scared the bejesus at me. Right, it's so of power. Where's the power cord? Is it down here somewhere? I need to change the brightness on this because I can can't really see much at all. Oh, I've just been going around. I I I've now found that I can click on click on the plugs. There we go. Oh my gosh! Uh, you've just turned the TV on. I don't actually, not at the moment. Well, clearly somebody did. Can we investigate who? Uh, do what do I do now? Can I move the sofa? Oh yeah, I can now. Cool. I didn't do this. I know I didn't. I don't understand. Yes, you do. Leave me alone. So am um, um, did I just lose the plot at some point and kill this dude? So do I do something with a body now? Oh, I do. Oh God. Oh God, no. Who is it? My boyfriend or something? No, no. Go away. Is it a lover's tiff? No way. No way. Hello. Uh. Can I answer the door? There we go. It's not real. It's not real. It's the man we've just killed. Um. Sorry, the, I'm a bit busy. Um, are you an actor? Is that that mean? Well, the body's still behind me. So how are you still here? Uh, how well, well, not still here, but how are you there? And also, have you got a twin? Is it a double? Um, what do I do? I'm really confuddled. And why is the window smashed? Do I do something with him? I can't go any closer to him. Um, uh, and he doesn't seem to want to interact with me. My curse is remaining the same. Uh, bathroom? No. I'm not really feeling this at the moment. Um, I'm. Is, am I being a complete lemon? I feel like I am. Can I do anything else with the TV? No, TV's the same. Oh, oh, oh. Do I spray him in the face? Spray him. Spray, 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 spray. Do I just do a bit of lice, like housekeeping? Am I a cleaner? Am I a hitman? Am I the hitman? What do I do with this? Do I clean the floor? Oh yeah. Oh, the phone's ringing. Uh, where's the phone? Phone. Phone? Phone. Is that the phone? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? What did we I don't know. What do you mean? What did we do? We? I don't. Well, thanks. That was really helpful. Um, is he still at the door? Can Can you go? You're making me a bit freaked out. Can I close the door on him? Right, so nothing more there.
Do I need to do, do I do something else with the body? Oh, is it? Oh, uh, what 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 does that mean? Do I jump out the window? Do do I go out the window? Is that is that my end game? Um, do I throw the body out the window? What do I do? My curse is still the same. It's not giving me any indication. Do I play a lullaby on the piano? Piano? On the guitar? Well, that didn't do anything. It was very unhelpful. Uh, well, it's told me the end game is now. Um, the, ha the room is pretty much all tickety-boo. But I'm not necessarily seeing what I need to do next. So I can't select any of the sheets or anything like that. What is going... Oh, for goodness sake. I had to click on that bloody thing. Ah! I do get frustrated. Oh! Reset. So is it actually me? Is it me dying on the floor? Did I speak to... Did I phone myself? What's going on? Room 303. Made in seven days. I was I mean, aesthetically, it was a cool game. Um, I found it a little bit frustrating because you had to click on things in a particular order. And it took me a while to get it all right. Um, so I got a little bit frustrated with it. I think the idea of the game is pretty cool. But yeah, I just found it a little bit... Um, a little bit annoying in parts. Um... Because you have to be very precise. And I don't know whether it's the way I've got this configured. Um, I'm playing this on Mac rather than PC. Um, it didn't seem to be that performant on, on this device. Uh, so apologies if the footage looks a bit rubbish. But I mean, it's a, a really neat concept. Really neat game. Um, audio, good. Um, just the ambient sounds and a little bit of creepy music in the background. Um uh imagery yeah cool a bit of a narrative there you know that something's obviously taken place but you don't necessarily know necessarily know what um so i like that ambiguity because then you start questioning was, was that my dead body on the floor or was it somebody else um was it me calling myself and all those kind of little things so yeah i like that game uh, it's pretty cool um i might play it again um just so i can really home in on the plot and the storyline um but anyway i'm going to move on to the next game so let's get cracking so this is all about ouija boards and seances and stuff um it's interesting because a, a few days ago i did the uh vhs walkthrough three horror vhs found footage kind of games um, and now i've got a, another one that's kind of a vhs -y kind of one um are you with us? A video guide to performing a seance. So I'm mean, really interested to see like uh, what this one's about. Again, it's a, it's an older one, but it says that it's still in development build. Um, you don't have to um, click or anything. You just hover your mouse over stuff. So I'm just going to see whether we can summon any spirits, spooks, and spectres. Star. The star. Okay. What does that mean? Does it give me any indication of what that does? Does it do anything? Uh, can we just hover a mouse over things? Can you please stop? Can you can please, please stop? No. Uh, so yeah, so uh, the game asks for access to my camera, a microphone, so it's going to obviously play stuff back to me. The audio is really neat in this. I really love the audio. Um, I'm assuming that I, I mean I don't know anything about Ouija boards necessarily or tarot cards or anything necessarily to do with the cult, other than what I've seen on TV. So whether these mean something, uh, 
can't see who that is. Um, I like the hand-drawn little images, though. The candles have gone out, and somebody's rubbed out my pentagram thing. I'm going to see if I can ask more questions. Will it let me? No. Do I have to do that again? Oh, it's getting a bit... I can't see a blooming thing. All right, let's try it again. Because this is where I think if you hover your mouse over here, you can ask questions. But it's not letting me do anything at the moment. So I'll do... Will it let me do this again? Okay. So is this going to be somebody else? Well, something else, rather. St Esther... Uh, Stra... Strength? Strength. Please wait. Your message is now being transmitted to a nearby spirit. Oh, okay. So are we going to get a spirit contact us? Can we do this now? Can we ask him a question? Anybody? Anyone else? Anybody want to speak to me? Uh, see now? Will it let me do that? No. Okay. There's a little bit of repetition here, and I, I really like the idea of this. Smile, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, that's perhaps not the most flattering of photos. Your soul has been captured. You have uh, freed the existing free the existing spirit, but must now take its place inside this vessel. This is only the beginning. Is that it? That was short. I like it though. That's pretty cool. I don't know whether there's other things that you can do within the game, whether you can mix it up anymore. Um, and whether there's alternative... Not Well, I mean, there's not really an ending per se to it, apart from you being captured in, in the photo. Um... I may have to give this one a whirl a few more times. It's a cool idea, the fact that it records your voice and takes a photo of you um, and plays that back and you ask questions and stuff like that. So it's a really good idea. I think it was nicely implemented. It would be good if uh, it was a little bit longer and more stuff happened. But it's pretty neat. I like that. I liked it. Um, what do you guys think? Was it good? Did you like it? Bit ambiguant? Ambiguant? Ambivalent to it? Ambivalent? Is that the right word? I can't remember. I don't know. I'm going to shut up now and move on to the next game because I'm rambling. So this is Dying of Thirst. This is um, one of the more popular games on Itch.io. Um, oh, it seems to be lagging a lot. Is it supposed to be like that? Um, yeah, so it's a more popular one. I don't know how recent it is. I didn't check that. Um, and uh, yeah, apparently all you need to do is collect water from places. Um, just want to become a bit more familiar with my surroundings. I'm gonna go through here. Garage. What's that? No water out there. Okay. Just wanted to check. Looks a bit foggy in the house. Can I put some lights on? No. Uh, what's down this way? Parents' room. I don't want to wake them. I should stay quiet and head to the fridge. Okay, so... Do we go downstairs and have a look at... The fridge? Oh, it looks like we might already be downstairs. Are we in a bungalow? This looks like a... Convenient area to get water from. Oops, missed. Is that it? Kettle. Okay. I didn't do that. So can we not fill up the water anymore? Do, do we go back to bed now? I've got a bit of water. Oh, no, I can keep filling. Because it just stopped before. Bit more. Have a bit more. Have I got to get 
fill my cup up to the top. Because nothing else has happened. I've not heard any more freaky deaky music. Uh, what was that? I heard something. Aquarium. I already fed the fish earlier. I just hope the pump isn't broken. Nothing there. Nothing there. Front door. Where would I even go? I don't need to. Uh, I I need to get to the fridge. So do I just go back to the fridge again then? Oh, it's got a GameCube. Probably get in trouble for playing it this late. I can hear noises. Very subtle noises in the background. You probably can't hear it because I'm ranting over the top. Hello? Mum? Dad? Is that you? Just going to go back to the fridge. Somebody at the back door. Nobody there. Just get the water from the fridge and go back to bed. I have no time for this nonsense. And why do you have to walk so slowly? I'm far too impatient. Anything to do? Oh! Oh, it turned off the light. Is that what we need to do? Oh, for goodness sake. And that's really missing. That That's not very accurate. Oh, is that the fish tank? Oh, at least no, it's working. That's blooming noisy pump in that fish tank. Are the fish being boiled alive? Well, that's better. See, I didn't necessarily clock that the light had gone outside either. Clearly, I'm very unobservant and a bit dim. Right, try and get in the cup this time. There we go. Look. Stop your shenanigans. I'm tired. All I want is a bit of water and then I'll go to bed, okay? So, shush. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh hello. Are you in the house or... Are you an alien? Oh! Hmm? Has he gone in the oven? Don't go in the oven, it's not safe. That gave me the heebie-jeebies, truth. Uh, quick, just get your water, go to bed. I don't want to turn around now. Right, got my water. Night. Strange thing with a long neck. Sleep well. I hope he's not in my bed. I won't be happy about that at all. God, I've got a bit of a sparse bedroom. There's not much in here. Oh. Oh, that was good. That was good. That that legitimately gave me the heebie-jeebies. That was cool. Oh, I'm so glad I played that one. Um, the first game, not that convinced. I've, I've, I suppose I just found it... No, actually, the first game was good. I just found it frustrating because I felt like I was clicking everywhere. Second game, cool, really interesting premise. This one, bleh, yeah, really gave me the heebie-jeebies, so... Fantastic job on that. Love the PSX kind of style graphics. Uh, love the simple gameplay. Um, uh, the audio is quite cool as well. You, you really, the attention to detail on the audio, little shuffling sounds and stuff like that really, really made it. So I think they did a top notch, uh, top, top notch. Oh yeah, they did a top notch attempt to, uh, on, on the audio. Um, I'm going to give this one a rating and a big thumbs up. Um, enjoyed that one. Fantastic. Um, let me know what you guys think of the games that I've played today and of my video. I don't feel like I've on. I'm um, don't. <laughs> I'm going to start that again. I don't feel like I'm on form today. So apologies if this is just a video of me really doing badly at games. I hope it's not been too impa new. 
I hope it's not been too painful for you um, and you've got some benefit out of it. Um, if not, pff, tough. Uh, it's, it's been released now, so there you go. Um, but for the time being, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Laters.